Welcome to the Dynon Channel, your video source for information, education, and training on Dynon Avionics' industry-leading line of integrated avionics for experimental amateur-built and light sport aircraft. Today's topic, Skyview System, Map Layers. In this video, I would like to talk about the various layers that you can display on Skyview's moving map. Now, layers are controlled through the map submenu. Currently, we're looking at the Skyview main menu. Uh, button 1 is labeled PFD. Button 3 is the map control, so let me select that submenu now. Here, we're looking at the map menu, and let's focus on button 6, which says layers. I'm going to press that button now, and we're looking at the layer submenu. First of all, uh, notice that two buttons are gray. Uh, we've talked about this before in Skyview system. If a menu button is gray, that denotes an on-off feature, and gray is the on condition. And you can see I have a weather layer. I'm going to turn that off for the moment, and I'll come back and talk about the weather layer in just a minute. For now, notice that button 2, terrain, is turned gray. Let's turn the terrain off for a moment and see what happens. When I turn the terrain off, notice how the black the map turns mostly black. We're looking at just a featureless view of the map of the, the my current area with all of the aviation symbology presented on the map. Uh, we also see obstacles, man-made and, and uh, geographic obstacles denoted by the yellow and red carrots. But that's a view of the map showing no terrain information whatsoever. It's a can be useful if you've used older GPS navigators, you're probably used to this type of view, but you'll find that the terrain information is, is much more familiar. It's, it's similar to what we see on a section, although not identical. I'm going to turn the terrain layer back on by pressing button 2. Ah, there's my familiar map. And as I zoom out a little bit, I can start to see some of the terrain features to the east of uh, my current location. That's the Cascade Mountains across the top. Now, I'm going to skip the next three buttons for a moment and jump all the way to button 7 that says Weather. Weather information th and this button itself, the label, will only be available if you have the Skyview ADS-B receiver installed and you have uh, current information available. So let's turn on the weather layer now. When I do that, notice uh, we still see the terrain information, but it's somewhat muted in color. I'm going to toggle the weather off and back on. Notice how the colors of the train are somewhat muted when the weather layer is turned on. Now we're going to have to zoom out for a bit to see if there's any real weather to look at. Currently I, there's no significant weather in the northwest. It's a beautiful day, a uh, beautiful cloudless day in, sky, in Seattle. It's kind of rare as you've heard. Now notice as, I, as I've zoomed all the way out you can see that the, the, the normal terrain coloration, but notice the magenta shading in some portions on the periphery of my map. The magenta areas are those areas for which we are receiving no weather information. It doesn't mean that there's no weather out there. It means that the ADS-B system is sending no weather data for those areas. And you can see that those areas are essentially outside the continental US here we are, the ca Canadian border runs along here. With one exception, notice down here in southeastern Oregon and a little bit into the uh, northwest corner of Nevada, there's an area for which we're not receiving data, and then in southern Nevada also. Again, I want to stress that if we had a day with lots of weather, those areas denote that I don't know whether I don't know if there's any weather there or not. I'm receiving no data from the ADS-B system. Okay, so that's enough about the weather layer. Uh, you'll have to explore this in your own system, and it's a lot more interesting to look at when you have uh, precipitation in the area. I'm going to turn the weather layer off now, and I'm going to jump back and talk about buttons 3, 4, and 5. Now, these buttons are special. They are only populated if you have purchased the chart data subscription from Seattle Avionics. When you do that, all of the chart data must be downloaded onto a USB stick, and that USB stick must be installed in one of the USB ports for each Skyview display. In my case, we do indeed have the, the chart data subscription, 
and on my map layers menu I have access to three of the five types of chart data and those are the wide area charts but three refers to the sectional and let's turn that on now when I turn on the sectional notice that the terrain option goes black we are now looking at a, a graphical image of a sectional chart I'm going to scroll my map back in and you can see indeed we're looking at a sectional view I'm going to touch my north arrow so we get the sectional in a north up orientation here we are sitting at my uh, in the middle of the airport at Payne Field now uh, many of you find comfort in seeing a sectional chart on screen and it is pretty useful in certain circumstances but as I zoom out you're going to see one of the drawbacks of a scanned sectional image and that is there is no way to declutter that chart so when the sectional layer is displayed as you zoom out it simply gets more and more cluttered and essentially unusable I think you'll find that the sectional chart is useful to jump in and get some some relevant information and then uh, when you're done looking at that you're going to turn the sectional off and turn back on the computer generated terrain map so I'm going to do that now I'll turn the terrain map back on and the sectional goes away next look at buttons four and five they say low and high those refer to the IFR and route charts, the low altitude and high altitude and route charts. I'll turn each of those on in sequence, so pressing the low chart, uh, it takes a little bit for that to render, but notice as I zoom in, I'll switch back to the north mode with my touch screen. Here you can see I'm clearly looking at a low altitude and route chart. If I switch back to the high altitude chart, selecting buttons uh, five, again, very similar looking chart but it is uh, high altitude for primarily for high performance IFR aircraft and then I'm going to turn that off by turning back on the computer generated terrain map this is the layer that you're going to fly with most frequently especially you VFR pilots and on occasion you may turn on the weather chart so that's a quick review of how to use the layers menu for uh, manipulating how Skyview's map looks in future videos, I'll talk about other aspects of Skyview's moving map and GPS navigator. Thanks for joining. For more information on planning or capabilities of the Skyview system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com, where you can find links to our system installation guides, pilot user guides, and other valuable information like our user form. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.